Well, uh, my name is the Stoke Monkey. Uh, Stoke Monkey is my name. Stoke Monkey is my game. Um, online, you can find me at uh, the Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. I'm uh, one of the co-hosts. I swing by from time to time. Uh, I'm uh, running alongside uh, Sorgatron uh, for president uh, next year. This year. What year is it? I don't know. Uh, I'm a monkey. I have no concept of time. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm slowly, uh, slowly gaining a larger presence all over the internet. I, uh, I recently did a video with I Justine. Um, she, I, she loves uh, bananas. She, uh, she ate at least a case of bananas on the shoot. It was a, it was a very interesting day. But um, yeah, I, uh, I love the internet. Uh, I haven't paid, I haven't paid a dime for my uh, political campaign thus far because the internet's free. Uh, well, online, I'm, uh, I'm very, uh, very straightforward in business. I'm very, uh, very president of the United States, president of New Jersey, uh, love bananas, hit with uh, metal folding chairs. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very simple platform, but it's straightforward, and I stick to it. Um, in real life, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit kinder and gentler. I, uh, I have a, I have a, a house in uh, Boca Raton, and uh, that's where I keep my uh, 28 children. Um, now, uh, I, I'm going to put this out there right now. Most political figures would not do this, but I want to be honest with you, the people. Um, I have had a number of wives and girlfriends. But uh, in New Jersey and, uh, you know, monkeys, we do it a little bit different. And I think that's what America needs. But uh, like I said, about 28 children uh, of every shape and size of monkey. Um, I have a son who's an orangutan. I have a, uh, a spider monkey who may or may not be my son, still under litigation. Um, but I, I like to uh, I like to relax on the beach and uh, eat bananas, of course. Uh, some stereotypes are true, folks. <laughs> um, and uh, reading, I love to read. Anne Rand changed my life. As aside from that, I'm uh, I'm uh, deeply religious. Well, uh, as far as the peering into souls goes, I, uh, I was born with many gifts uh, as a monkey. One, of course, being having the body of a complete human and the head of a monkey. Um, of course, there was some conflict between the monkey brain and the human body, hence the stroke. Uh, multiple ones, actually. But, uh, hey, no big deal. I've uh, moved on. <laughs> now I'm a, a future president of the United States. Uh, now, as far as the peering into souls go, that uh, that was another one of my uh, gifts at birth, and uh, it's uh, it served me well. It lets me see uh, right into the hearts and minds of my fellow Americans. I know what they want, even if they don't. Well. Um, that's one of those unfortunate things that tends to happen in politics from time to time. Now, uh, Miss Papuga, I, I'm not going to take anything away from her. She's an intelligent individual, a uh, former teacher, as far as I understand. Uh, but, um, you know, some, some people just, uh, personalities clash. Um, now, if you, if you really want to know about Miss Papuga, I'm not going to speculate to her personality. Uh, go and see one John Carmen. John Carmen knows all about Miss Papuga, and if I'm not mistaken, he makes a little bit of money on the side. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I'm not running a months ligging campaign here. Uh, that's true. Um, I get confused from time to time, and certain styles of purses look like black leather bananas, and I get hungry. Who doesn't get hungry? Everybody gets hungry. Monkey, man, it doesn't matter. And, uh... Like I said, they just look like black leather bananas, and uh, any banana is an okay banana in my book. Um, well, uh, Sorgatron, uh, producer, head of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, he has a band by the name of Crap, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, they needed a monkey. Now, this was before I, uh, I threw my head to the political race and uh, was a little down on my luck with the 28 children, and um, I needed a gig. So he said, I would like a monkey to leap around on stage, and you have a man body, so uh, it could be interesting. And I agreed with him. So... Um, one day, uh, he was uh, throwing an event called Sorgstock, and uh, he said, why don't you come on out and hop around, 
uh, tell us what you think, and you know maybe we can develop a working relationship here. And it, it did. It started with Sword Stock and a few crap shows here and there, and it just one day I showed up on the Wrestling Mayhem show, and the rest is history. You know, I've, I've heard rumors of these accusations, but it's, it's good to, that someone's just putting them right out uh, into the air here. Um, this is good. This is something I've been wanting to address for a long time. Uh, DJ Lunchbox is a fine individual. Um, he's, uh, he's a little violent. I've heard rumors of a little bit of cocaine usage. Okay. But that's not me. That's not me. Uh, metal folding chairs aside, I am not a violent person. I'm not, I don't condone violence or war for war's sake. Um, and uh, DJ Lunchbox, while talented and an interesting individual, uh, our personalities just don't mesh. It's, it's another, it's another uh, situation similar to Don Papuga's. It's just personalities clash. But no, no, uh, to answer your question, I am not in fact DJ Lunchbox. I don't even think he's been to New Jersey. Well, uh, like I was, uh, I said in a recent campaign speech, um, I think new media is a wonderful tool. Uh, the internet as a whole is fantastic because I haven't paid a dime for my uh, for my political campaign. Hillary Clinton, well, she's two twenty million billion dollars in debt, whatever. Um, uh, Bill Clinton better get a job at McDonald's. Meanwhile, I can live comfortably in Boca Raton, feed all of my children, and um, like I said I haven't paid a dime. Uh, I have a certain I have a promotional deal worked out with Comcast where I don't have to uh, pay for my internet. So it's, it's been all free. All free. I, I, will, I will, without a doubt, be at PodCamp Pittsburgh. Um, I may uh, fly in on my private helicopter, uh, land on the roof of the Art Institute. Um, I could, uh, I could, you know, my stretch Hummer limousine could come in on that. Or I might just uh, swing in with my tail. Who knows? Depends on the mood I'm in that day. But uh, I wouldn't miss PodCamp Pittsburgh 3 for the world. My fellow Americans, this is the Stoke Monkey of WrestlingMayhemShow.com, president of New Jersey, and I'm going to PodCamp Pittsburgh 3, PodCampPittsburgh.com.